A big shout out to everyone this morning on my daily coffee time talks. This is John Ruffle and a big shout out to Ringo Starr who is 80 years old today if you can believe it. And uh, there was a time when I was doing evangelism in Liverpool, the home city of the Beatles of course, and I lived at one point just literally a stone's throw away from where Ringo Starr, or Richard Starkey as his real name is, was born and raised. And so I've got lots of memories of that era in my own background, although I've never actually met Ringo. Um, greetings anyway. But today I just want to discuss for a minute about the great deception that's coming upon the world. And I'm going to be probably labelled as a bit of a crank and I'm willing to accept that label because sometimes we have to go against the flow of what society is doing so that we might be able to discern the truth. I did say this just a few days ago, I think it was last week on one of my Coffee Time Talks, and I said it's not that we need more faith, but we need less unbelief. And unbelief comes in via our senses and our interactions with this world, because the whole world lies in the lap of the wicked one. And there's a great deception that is already in the world, and uh, because Satan is the great deceiver. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to set you a little bit, as there goes my pen on the floor, I'm going to set you a little bit of homework. And uh, I've not done this before, but I just want to get you to consider what the Bible says. Um, I've got a friend of mine, we were doing some stuff yesterday together and he happened to remark that he asked a relative of his who's been a lifelong Catholic, he asked her, do you believe that Jesus is coming back again? And this dear woman, dear Catholic, did not know how to answer the question and yet for all of our lives we've been reciting the creed and each of the creeds talk about Jesus coming again. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Why are we reciting something we don't even believe? Well, and my friend very wisely in this conversation said, well, what about when Jesus, do you believe that Jesus rose from the dead? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus ascended into heaven? Well, yes. Well, the angels said, why are you looking up into heaven? Because in the like way that he went up to heaven, he will come back. So, um, well done to my friend for pointing that out. And look, remember, I'm speaking as a Catholic. I'm not talking about being anti-Catholic. I'm just talking about basic biblical literacy, right? Basic biblical literacy. We need to be literate in the Bible. So this is your homework. <laughs> oh gosh, I wish I was back teaching again. Here I am. I'm just going to give you some scripture references. They'll be down below as well. Um, oh, by the way, if you didn't see it yesterday, you'll have met my wife and my boy because yesterday we did a very special meeting. We had all three of us for our coffee time talk. Here's the scriptures. 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5 and verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. Revelations chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Gospel of Mark 13, verse 22. Book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. And there's probably a load more I could quote. Here's my notebook. Right, you can freeze frame and read them all. <laughs> I don't think so somehow. But they'll all be underneath here, alright? So just enjoy your homework.